when Craig was a young boy, about the age of nine, he fell in love with some turtles down in the sewer line. So this Walmart has all the Shang-Chi legends on clearance for $4.97. Check that out. Wow. That is awesome. Cool to see. So check your Walmarts. And also they got some Pokemon cards too. $4.39. And they are, um, they're everywhere. Insane. We got some of the retro card at Joe's. We got Cobra Commander. Duke, we got Lady J, another Duke, Power Ranger wise is, is what we're looking at. We also got Shira on Swiftwind, Walmart exclusive, and then we got Skeletor on Night Stalker, which is really sweet. I really like that Garbage Bell Kid one. That's very cool. Split Kit, Leaky Lindsay. It's pretty sweet. And here's some other ones. But yeah, that uh, Skeletor on Night Soccer, amazing. And then we also have the 10 inch trap jaw, which is freaking beautiful. It's, I don't know, this might be a maybe. Or I'm gonna play the waiting game. Waiting game probably it is. All right guys, so we're back from Walmart. It is a new day. It is Friday and I'm at the Super Target. I am looking for that Motu Origins Battle Damage Battle Cat and He-Man. That's right, both Battle Damage. Got some blood going on. And then also, I think the NECA Mondo and Muckman is slowly trickling in from what I hear on the interweb. So maybe we'll see one, probably not, but we can, we can always look. And then uh, what else is that? What's showing up at Target? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Looks like we got some clearance action going on. 25 from Murdoch. Pretty darn good deal on that guy. And then I saw this $16.99 AI Tony, which is pretty sweet. Sky sled still $14.99. We got some of the Odin's right here. And then the hologram, Iron right, Man, that Ursa Major looks freaking fantastic. All right, we got that black and white King Kong along with the colored version right here. I do think I like the black and white better if I were to pick. I really like that head sculpt. And then they got Homelander, they got Pennywise, they got Annabelle. They still have one of these uh, adult packs, a medium. You got Starlight, which I still have yet to pick up, but she looks pretty darn good. And they got Quint down here. <sighs> so hard. I don't, I love Jaws. And it comes with freaking beer cans. I mean, I should just buy it for the beer cans, right? Skeleton, guy that ton and then from the deluxe we got Skeletor, Wordak, Skelly, Panthor, Battle Cat and then tons of these that was all the rave like two months ago that's everywhere um, and then we got a bunch of the Waveborn and the uh, Eternia minis these are pretty sweet but uh, not me then we got the basic Snake Eye movie action figures. So Storm Shadow, Snake Eyes, Baroness, what else? Another Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow. Okay, so no pickups for me in Target, but as you can see, they have some pretty, uh, pretty good, decent action figures. A lot of stuff has been in stock, like I've been saying at Target. So yeah, this is the Target. If you're in the area, what is this? Colleyville. Yes, Colleyville Target, uh, Glade Road. I guess it is to be exact. Anyway, we're going to hit another store, and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a uh, GameStop or another Walmart or another Target. 
I really kind of want that battle damage. I do really want that battle damage. Origins, He-Man, and Battle Cat. So we gotta find that sucker. So let's try to do that. Let's get it. Okay, so we are at Dollar Tree and they had these little G.I. Joe figures, kind of like the, the Motu. So we have uh, Snake Eyes right there. We got a Roadblock. We got a Destro. What's up, dude? We have a Duke. We have a Cobra Commander and a Red Ninja. So these are at Dollar Tree. Check it out. All right, guys. So we are back here at the Narclayer. I only picked up those three Marvel Legends at the first Walmart we went to. So I picked up Win Wu. So $4.97. And this is the Mr. Hyde uh, wave, if you're not aware. So I'm going to try to build this sucker because if I can get these guys at five dollars a piece uh that's a pretty sweet looking uh bath so i'm gonna try to build mr hyde on the cheap so we'll see how that goes then i got shang chi of course and then i'm not going to try to pronounce her name but i got her because i don't want to butcher it um but yeah i got her all 497 so i'm super stoked about that if i can build this mr hyde for under 30 bucks, 35 bucks, I'm game for that. So that should be pretty fun to try to do. So we are going to take a look at my vintage TMNT collection. A little display that I've been working on for a little over a month now. I'm probably about 80% complete. So I'm going to give you guys an update on that. So let's go check it out. And here we are on the top shelf. I added a few more figures from the first time you guys saw this. I added, uh, you know, Ray Fillets in there, put another Foot Soldier. Uh, let's see, Rat King is now up there. He's stuck. Uh, Casey is hanging out. Ha <laughs> he's hanging out. Uh, then we got Mr. Needle Nose. And what else? Another foot just kicking it on the sewer layer. So that is the top shelf of this TMNT display. Second shelf, not much has changed since you guys last saw it, but um, this is kind of what it's looking like. If you haven't seen that collection video, I will post it down below so you guys can check it out. But this is what we are looking at. I'm really digging that Chrome Dome. Still love it. He has no chips on that uh, back metal paint. So uh, I'm very, very, very glad about that because you can rarely find them in perfect condition. And then this is my jam right here. So we're gonna kind of start on the, in the back, we have just a bunch of the turtles carded, a bunch of my carded ones down there. And then we have them lined up. I kind of have like the first 10 right here. And then the movie, two figures, and then up here it just gets kind of silly with all the different variations they had. I still need to get Toon Leo and a belt for my Toon Mikey. I need to get that done and then I need to get some armor for that guy right there. And then here is some of my Toon figures. So we got Irma, we got Vernon, we got Burn, and look, Pizza Face. One of the best freaking sculpts in my opinion out of the entire vintage line. And then we go up here and we got some of the, uh, the Shoguns. And I still need to get a Shogun Leo. And then here's my favorite. So, got all the Universal Monsters. Freaking Scratch, Hotspot, Half Court, King Lionheart, Hothead, Dr. L, Sandstorm. And these are mostly complete except for Scratch. Invisible Mikey, I still need to get his uh, invisible head and his little, uh, what is it? His little cylinder, I think. And then Mountain Moose, Scale Tail, Murder Dude, Antrax, some of the Forgotten Sewer Warriors right here. And they are all complete minus uh, Bebop. But I do have all the trophies. Then we have some of the Adventurer Turtles. We have some of the Rock and Roll Turtles, or all of them. And then. I need to get Leo's bike. So we need to find that. And then the sewer, sewer surfing Leo. He's kind of a harder one to find. 
but yeah that's a look at that shelf it's coming along really good guys very very excited about it so this shelf i'm still i still need a little work it's kind of half half done right now but uh this is some of my box stuff so i have some put away but this is what we're looking at i can't wait to open that rock and roll near the bus so that will be displayed down here and then back in the back you can't probably can't see but i have some vehicles and some um what else some more card figures but that is a look from the bottom to the top of my tmnt collection i still have a lot to do if you look over here there's just random randomness just everywhere Ooh, these guys fall like every day i don't know what the deal is and uh, i need to get these guys a home and put away see i still have like the storage shell turtles oh here's some of the 2012 the monster turtles all kinds of random crap just i, I need to find them a new home on a shelf over here especially that dude he's awesome all right guys so that is it for the collection so far i will continue to update as I go and progress, because I still have a lot to do. So this is like the 12th take that I'm doing um, because I wanted to acknowledge something. Um, we lost a very, very special human being in not only the toy community, but in the world. And that is Mr. Joe Ryan. He, um, he lost his battle to cancer last week. Joe was such a good dude. He was really generous many people that i've met like him he was just he was very special he was a special person uh, i've been friends with him for two to three years uh, a lot of the stuff that you see behind me he's helped complete like i would do a video and he was like hey you're missing that i got it here you go um and most of the time he would just send it for free because that's the type of person joe was he did have a youtube channel uh, joe rhino uh, so if you want to check out some of his videos, uh, I'm sure they're still up. His family does currently have a GoFundMe page going right now. I will have that down below. Uh, they're just trying to cover the expenses that they need. So um, if, if you feel led to like help out, uh, even if it's a dollar, uh, I'm sure that they would be much appreciated. And uh, Joe, we're going to miss you, buddy. And on that note, we'll see you soon. Peace.